Hi guys, tonight is night four of my meal lime meal plan. We have already done, first night I did the pan fried pork chops with the roasted broccoli and sweet potato mash. That's pretty much normal what we would eat. A little more seasoning than I'm used to. And then I got really excited and I wanted to do the chai chicken zucchini noodle with the spicy peanut sauce. I left the spice out because we have small children and didn't want it spicy, but it was delicious. And then last night we had the fish tacos with guacamole and Napa cabbage slaw, and that was fantastic. Again, I left the spice out, but it was amazing. And I used a giant slab, like a one pound chunk of halibut, and seared it in the frying pan. It was delicious. And then tonight we're doing the fried cabbage skillet with sausages. Tomorrow night is the Thai coconut chicken soup with mushroom and bell peppers. I don't like peppers, but I'm going to do it anyway because I try to get the kids to eat things that we don't normally eat. And then we're going to go all for the gusto on Friday and do the maple glaze tofu and garlic saute with bok choy and basmati rice, which I'm super excited about that because I love tofu. So I'm going to click on my thing. I have my ingredients list. Right now I just want to do the first three because I'm prepping. So I take my first three, I have four cloves of garlic, one small bunch of onions, and one medium head of cabbage. Napa cabbage. So there's my cabbage, there's my garlic, and here's my onions. It says to go ahead and wash everything, which it's all washed. And I'm going to trim up the onions and put them in a small bowl. Skip what it says to do with the sausage right now. Trim off the end of the cabbage and thin slicely. And up here it said to do the same thing with the onions. There, with the onions. So I'm going to go ahead and chop them up. And then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. All right. I'm not a chef. I don't ever claim to be. So this is how I cut up my vegetables. If you do them differently or you don't like the way they do them, you do them your way and I'll do them mine. on it. I use the smaller one for my smelly stuff so that my big wooden boards don't get stinky. as far down as I'm going to go on those ones. Garlic is so good. I love the smell of it. Mm. 
This is the easiest way I've found to peel them. I've tried putting them in the rolly thing and rolling them like I've seen other people do and I just find this is quicker and I don't mind if my hands smell like garlic because I like the smell of garlic. this knife from Steve for Christmas. I like it because it does this a lot easier. I like the smaller one. There's three of them. There's a huge one, a medium one, and this one. But I like this one. Like Probably a bigger one would do this easier now that I'm thinking about it, but this knife is already dirty. My hands are covered in garlic. And I don't really want to reach in the drawer with garlic hands and touch another one. I was trying to figure out what would make my life easier, trying to meal plan and sort everything out. I was feeding Hazel, and I remembered that one of the girls I watch on YouTube mentioned a meal planning app. And she had like a whole list of things and a shopping list and uh, what she needed to prepare the meal and everything. So I started looking for it and I couldn't find a video that she talked about it in. So I just Googled meal planning apps and this one came up and I was like, um, yeah, I'm going to definitely give a free one a go. See what happens. Just rinsed my hands. These ones are kind of gross looking. I don't know if Napa cabbage is supposed to look like that, but I don't want the mine to look like that. So it says quarter it. And slice thinly. Put that one off to the side. Yes, William. Mommy. Reality of three under three. Someone is always in the background listening or waiting to wait for you or needs you. Audrey's sleeping. Hazel's sleeping. And William's watching Paw Patrol because he asked me to. And it's raining outside. down further on here on the outside but the inside is pretty much done pardon One. You all right, William? Yeah. I'm working on it. It's coming. Having the remote on your phone means you don't have to be in the same room. You just have to know what buttons to push to put the next episode on. I don't know if that's lazy parenting or genius parenting, but survival mode is a difficult thing to work in when you're so new with a new baby. And I learned that very quickly with William when one kid's fuss and then you gotta get to the other one and you have to pick and choose who gets to fuss a little longer because you've gotta go to the other one.
in the picture they don't look too thin they look like like a finger's width and then it'll cook down so that's what I'm doing After this, it's pretty much just, mm, that was a good piece. It's pretty much just cook the sausages, put it in the skillet together and add the other stuff that it calls for and you're done. I bought a noodle making thing from Canadian Tire to make those noodles the other night. And it was junk. It just juiced all over my counter. It didn't do the carrots very well. And I was kind of unhappy with it. So I went to Walmart that night afterwards and looked for the specific one that I wanted. One that doesn't go on the counter. The only issue with it is, is it makes flat noodles, not round one like the other thing does. But I'm alright with that. This one is handheld, it's super tiny, works awesome with carrots, I've already stained it a bit, and it leaves just a little bit of the core, whereas the one that I bought that actually sits on the counter and suction cups to it, it left the whole core in it, and it would only make like giant noodles. Alright, so that's that prepped. The next one, excuse me, is um, sausage, six sausages. So I will grab them out. Actually, I'll probably just leave them in the fridge in their sausage container. That's the waste from my cabbage. If I had chickens, I could feed it to the chickens, but I don't. So I have deer. I could feed it to the deer or I could put it in the compost. Done. It's 10 o'clock in the morning and over half of my prep work for dinner is finished. Ta-da! We'll be back when it's time to actually cook. I just wanted to show you guys my comment about the not having chickens but having deer. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> we don't cut our grass here. We just let the deer eat it. Look at that baby. I don't know if she's got rain rot. The back one here is like that too. Hit the wrong button. They're from um, last year and these guys all have weird looking skin. Hi, Andre. Did you just wake up? Hi, Andre. <laughs> Bye. There's three. We just had another one join the party. And there's three. That one I think is pregnant. <laughs> how crazy is that? Six of them on the front lawn eating the grass. Look at how efficient they are. <laughs> Alright, it is 4.27 and I am starting dinner. Hopefully to be done at five. I have 
Costco sausage, my prepped vegetables from this morning. I messed up, it was supposed to be a regular onion and this was supposed to be for garnish, so I just switched them out. Salt, pepper, coconut oil, tomato paste, and my cabbage. I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking the sausages. Sausages in and cooking. I don't only need six, but I'm cooking all nine because I want some for lunch tomorrow. I think I'm going to go ahead and flip them. Still cooking away. goodness. Oops. Nice and built it down. And now I'm going to cut up the sausage and put it in there. Mmm, now to mix it up. And serve it. That's the finished product. How's your dinner? I don't know where the garbage truck went. Mm. Uh, Pardon? Piece of bread? <laughs>